Hello, I'm Keith Ford. I'm Steve Ostrom, and today we're going to bring you another gun from the vault. And today we've got a good one for you. This is from Arsenal Firearms, a double 1911, or what they call the AF 2011A1. And as you can see, it looks like a uh, Pontiac T-top on the top. It ejects left, it ejects right. We've got a double wide hammer, double wide safety, double wide mainspring housing. Everything on this thing is duplicated because it shoots two bullets at the same time. It has two triggers with the accompanying trigger guard. This thing is just humongous. We've got two barrels, two mainspring, or two uh, recoil springs. And to top it all off, they made a lot of these in 45 ACP, but this one is in 38 Super, which really caught my eye. Now it has pretty conventional controls. The safety and the slide lock are what you'd find on any 1911. I think the pin that goes through the body is a little bit longer, like about a half an inch or better. Magazine comes out like that, they're both linked together. But as far as everything else, the manual of arms is exactly the same as any 1911. And man, that hammer, that hammer, it's just like thumbing back <laughs> a, a stair step. It's huge. It's one of the few pistols I've ever felt that I thought my hand was a little too small. And I can't believe that Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger hasn't had this in a movie. Maybe they have, and I missed it, but I haven't seen it. Mr. Ford, <laughs> now get hold of it, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never had anything like this in my hands before. It's side-by-side uh, side 1911. I mean, just need another one, 38 Super in one hand, 45 in the other. That's it. Bro, we could... We could go tackle some movies with that. Yeah, I mean, this is just an engineering feat all in itself, is having two 1911s joined together right here. And, and it works, it's just... So yeah, that's, that's, that's just kind of amazing to me. Doesn't that remind you of a Firebird T-top from the 70s? Yes. You know, Burt Reynolds be yep, driving Murray, Yep, yep, Trans Am. <laughs> Trans Am, sure yeah. Enough, yeah. Man alive, yeah. Crazy now. I wonder if you could do 38 on one side and 45 on the other. Oh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that makes my head hurt. <laughs> it's hard enough to figure out how this all works. Yeah, because you have extractors over here, then over here. I mean, it's just kind of mirrored. Yeah, you've got a left hand and a right, right hand. Right hand. Uh, 1911 going on there at the same time. Yeah. Incredible. That's crazy. Probably not for everybody. No, absolutely not. Um, they are a little more than what two 1911s would cost you. Um, but you'd be the only one on your block that had one, that's for sure. Far and away, easy. Like I said, if you can run a 1911, you can run this thing. Yep. Just make sure you have plenty big hands. Exactly. And uh, don't don't ask where to get a holster, I have no idea. No. No, don't, don't worry about a utility light underneath <laughs> it or... <laughs> And cool. we'd like to thank Rock Island Auction House for letting us come by and look at this and all the other fine firearms they've got here. We'd like to thank you for watching. We'll see you next time when we bring you another gun from the vault. <laughs>